Hey, folks, y'all see the title. Now, let me give a little bit of perfunctory about this because this is my neck of the woods. I've done on my original channels voter fraud videos and whatnot and uh, the perp walk of the people that were arrested that were doing it and they all of them in each one of my was all from a uh, a certain um um uh, what would you call it uh a certain makeup okay I'll put it I'll put it like that a lot of them register as white but they're not um and they uh they they uh their first language isn't english but here we go again now of course they have to have enablers okay they have to have enablers but anyway now ken paxson the attorney general for the state of texas um had the ex a warrant uh search warrants executed they found all the stuff this that and other and guess what the left is crying, oh, we need to go after Ken Paxson because that was racially motivated. Racially motivated? Um, Voter fraud? Election fraud? Either, either you're voted fraudulent, fraudulently or you didn't. You got ballot harvesting. And how many times I didn't say it before? If they ever find a way, they are working overtime to flip Texas blue. Because if Texas flips blue, you'll never see another Republican administration in your life. Because these 40 electoral votes that Texas has, that we have the second highest electoral vote count. Second only to California. New York is behind us. We have more electoral votes. Uh, electoral college votes than the state of New York does. Like I said, we're second only to California. Look at the la look at the elections that the Republicans won. Now take 40 point. I mean, you can pull it up on the internet. It shows you just go to the electoral college vote. Electoral E L E C T O R A L electoral college C O L L E G E. And pull it up. Now subtract the 40 points from the Republican that went one and give them 40 points to the Democrats. With the exception of Ronald Reagan, but but uh because Ronald Reagan won all but one state. Uh the only state he didn't win was Minnesota. He won 49 out of 50 states. A lot of people don't know that, but I voted for Reagan, so I'm old enough to remember that. And plus, they don't teach stuff like that in school. A lot of and then people come and I'm not getting on the modern folks. I'm not getting on the modern kids. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, the school system is jacked, but I blame the some of the parents, too. And some of the parents are from my generation and I don't give them a break either. If well, it may help if you fill in the blanks teaching your kids the stuff. I didn't know that. Okay, that's because your parents didn't tell you, or or maybe they didn't know. Who knows? But I blame them. You know, when people I love telling me, well, these new kids are smart. Yeah, they're more smarter when it comes to junk and bullshit stuff that don't put beans in the pot and 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 money and and keep your lights on and your car note paid and a roof on your house. That other crap don't mean crap. It don't mean, I mean, if you like it, you like it. But to me, it's useless. You know, it, it it's useless. But anyway, so they trying to cry racism because they got caught. Now, ain't that something? Wait a minute. I didn't even pop my little bobbleheaded ass up on the side there while I'm beating my gums. Okay, I'm tripping. Let me see. There I go. All right. You get my head and ass wired together. So anyway, so the, like I said that that's the, that's the way now it's Atascosa County. That's Atascosa is sort of, uh, East South Southeast of, um, um, of San Antonio, um, Atascosa County. That's where Pleasanton and, uh, you know, all that Jordanton, all that, uh, Campbellton, all that stuff there. 
Rio County is to the south. That's like where Dilly, Pearsall, all that other stuff is directly south of San Antonio. If you go 35 south, uh, heading towards Laredo, you run into Frio, Frio County, and Frio is Spanish for cold. Uh, Cayente is hot, Frio is cold. Um, and then you have Bear County. I be, people be saying Be Bexar. It's not Bexar. It's Bear, just like Grizzly Bear. You know the one that the chicks are safer in the woods with over your ass. Um, I say let them get along just fine. Let the, let that. Hey, that's the Bears' problem. Let him handle that. Bear County, San Antonio, seventh largest city in the United States, and growing, and growing. About ready to be six largest here and nothing flat. Look at the numbers. Anyway, so that's that's what we got going on here. And and Paxson done the raid, got executed the ex search warrants. And here's the thing: the counties know. You see, Bear County Sheriff, he was just at the DNC up there uh gum clapping about Trump. And, you know, because, you know, with the border and all this other stuff, when San Antonio was full of illegals and now look, ever since he got up there and made that grandstand, Kamala then, then elbowed him because now she's saying she for the border wall. So you done all that talking for nothing. These people are fucking clowns, I'm telling you. But if they ever, if this ever slips through the cracks, because I've done three stories that I can remember over the years on this. One of them, I got, the, well, they didn't give me a strike. They took it down. Said that it was, um, what is it? Basically, like, I didn't have any proof. Yeah, like, like all this other crap. I mean, do you see the crap that's floating around YouTube? So I sent them the, the link from the Texas Examiner which is a, you know, it's a, an accredited outlet and they never responded back. But then just out of the blue, uh, like weeks later, weeks later, the store, it, my video reappeared, but it didn't get much in the way of hits because all you guys and gals that got the notifications and clicked it and it wasn't there. You just went on with your lives. So they had take it down and they had put it massive dynamic, a throw it back up a few weeks later after you prove it's true, even though none of that leftist stuff have to get proved because they like it. That's why they let it stay. But now no one's clicking for that story no more. So either I got to a after you find out that is back up and you don't know how long it's been back up, take it down and re put it up again. But now you re putting up a story that's a few months old. People that moved on, they do this on purpose. But anyway, Okay, I assume that they do this on purpose. Yeah, let's go. Let's go the safe route. So let's go ahead and get this uh, show on the road. This video is two minutes and twelve seconds. Intimidation allegations. Okay. Oh, and plus, trust me, it pains the San Antonio media to report on stuff like this because they're all in it too. I'm telling y'all. Send this whole there's a lot of blue spots in Texas and mainly it's the large cities, San Antonio and the surrounding area. You got to get a couple of counties out of San Antonio to get away from the blue. You got to go past Guadalupe County to get away from the blue. Then it start turning red. Um, But it, 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 that blue, it infects everything it touches. But anyway, let's go. Let me get myself out of the way and roll them. Now in our investigation into election fraud allegations, last week, Attorney General Ken Paxton's office executed search warrants in Bear, Atascosa, and Frio counties, accusing officials and others of unlawfully registering non-citizens to vote. As Fox SA's Yami Virgen just found out, those hit with search warrants are now accusing the state of intimidation. Tonight, we're learning more about what the attorney general's office calls an elaborate. Yeah, intimidation. Like, how dare, how dare you as the attorney general do your job and and uh, follow up on tips on voter fraud? 
widespread voter fraud and vote harvesting scheme that dates back to 2022 and led them all the way to Frio, Atascosa and Bear County. Back in November of 2022, claims of potential voter harvesting in Frio County were sent by the 81st District Attorney's Office to Attorney General Ken Paxton. See what they done, see what he was supposed to do when they sent him, sent, you know, when uh, those, when they sent it to the Attorney General, he was supposed to bend their ear and tell them, look, that's, even though that's my job, I'm not going to do my job in looking into this. You know, you sit down there and shut up. No? N no? Oh, okay. Well, my bad. According to the affidavits and search warrants we obtain exclusively today, dating back to 2023, a candidate for county judge had evidence and recordings of the alleged wrongdoing in Frio County. The affidavit claims that several people in that county, led by Cheryl Denise Castillo, were involved in voter harvesting of seniors in a subdivision known as Pine Hill Estates II. The affidavits claim that the group would request application for ballots by mail and in some cases help seniors telling them whom to vote for. These affidavits also allege that the former Frio County elections administrator allegedly, allegedly, Carlos Segura's role in the vote harvesting organization was to provide Castillo with the information on the mail ballots, including but not limited to when the ballots get delivered, where they get delivered, and who has. The blacks you see, that's Bear County. Cause uh, you go down to Frio County, you you if you if you see a black person, they passing through or they freaking lost. <laughs> Yeah. Now, uh, now Atascosa County, because in Pleasanton, that Pleasant, where Pleasanton and Jordanton run together, you got a crop of blacks there. You actually got some black farmers down there and you go down to Campbellton. Uh, you got uh, some uh, black ranchers and whatnot down there. Pleasanton is noted in Texas history as being the birthplace of the cowboy. And we, you know, uh, I know some some other places will fight that, but they on record for for beating out a, a couple other places by, you know, by a little bit of time. But anyway, onward. Picked up mail ballots up to a certain point. The affidavit says Castillo charged between fifteen hundred and twenty five hundred dollars to do this work. Her candidate. In about three weeks, the sealed search warrant and affidavits that were executed last week will be available to the public. Jamie Virgen, Fox SA. Melissa, right now we continue following the crisis at the border. The Biden administration may soon restart a key immigration program that would let migrants of certain nationalities apply to legally enter the U.S. Homeland Security officials have credited the program with driving down of certain nationalities uh let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and dissect that one for you that's not that's not you people from haiti jamaica you know and uh uh east africa no 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 not you uh uh the, it's it's for the ones that you see in the picture not you illegal border crossings but critics claim otherwise. The program was paused this summer over concerns of fraud. The goal of the program is to give Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans a legal pathway to the U.S. Even though the Haitians were tricked, they were rounded up and told that they were being uh, 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 taken into a place. They flew the Haitians from Texas to Florida and then from Florida back to Haiti. Hell, even Vice done the video on that and Vice is trash <clears throat> to me. They done the story. A couple of other people done. I think Phil Advise done it. I don't think he called himself Phil Advise no more. I think Phil Advise done it. I'm 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 if I was a gambling man, um 
if I was a gambler, well, ne never mind. It, the, quite a few people done that story. I done as hell. The video is still up on my channel. It's still here. Those who enter the program will be required to have sponsors in the U.S. The new version upgrades will vet procedures and new requirements for sponsor applications. Since that program began more than a year ago, 386,000 migrants have arrived legally. The city of San Antonio has been working with nonprofits to serve migrants coming through to their final. Remember the video that I showed you guys of the migrant camp that they set up in San Antonio at the old CPS facility on San Pedro, just south of um, North Star Mall. And when I say CPS, CPS here, that's city public service. That's the people where you pay your money, you get your electricity. It's not it's not child protective services here. <laughs> CPS is city public service. That's your utility company. Well, separate from water, because water is SAWS, S-A-W-S, San Antonio Water Systems. Yeah, they, they you're paying the city. Yeah, they, they run it all. They run the power and they run the water. There is no third party. You don't have another choice. Like you do, like when you leave, you leave Bear County and you go to places, you can pick your electric, your utility provider, San Ant Bear County, and no. Uh, you got uh, uh, San Antonio Water Systems and City Public Service. That's for the electricity. That's it. So when you so don't don't freak out when I say they moved into the old CPS building. They didn't kick Child Protective Services out. Okay. Destinations, but we had some questions about some of the money being spent to do this. News for San Antonio's Marisa Mendoza tells us what she found. The Migrant Resource Dashboard says. As of Tuesday, 57 migrants are currently staying at the MRC. As of this fiscal That's year, right about 114,000 migrants have passed through this facility. Meanwhile, city officials claim 100% of migrant resources are federally funded. However, in a presentation in Tuesday's budget work session, the city's Department of Human Services presented a slide that shows of the more than $19 million set aside for family strengthening, a portion of that goes to migrant response. $19 million. And see, here's the thing. San Antonio is rarely in the news. I, pro I bet you I'm probably the only person that y'all get y'all San Antonio news from. I think Kid Organic covered this story, too uh back back when it came I, I i think he did because you know how you put it up how the algorithm a uh, filter through and i guess they see mine and then they'll pop in other people uh because i know phil advice was one because he's in texas he's in east texas and i done it and I, I i i think it was kid organic i could be wrong if i'm if i'm wrong i apologize kid but i think it was kid organic but yeah that money ain't going to uh, natural to uh, uh, American citizens and veterans and 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 regular homeless citizens. No, we got to give it to people that crossed here illegally, and we just um, uh, skirted the Constitute, the, you know, the Bill of Rights, and and just uh, put a check mark on a piece of paper that we uh, uh, made and said it's okay. Fonts. Human Services provides and funds an array of programs for. I mean, look at that chart. Look at it. It's called family strengthening. See, they're going to put migrant response all the way at the bottom because, you know, they know y'all jokers don't read. So uh, children ready, one hundred and seventy three point seven million dollars. Do you know you know what early head start is? It's daycare for illegal for illegal kids. That's all it is. Ask anybody to live here. They'll tell you. They'll tell you older adult independence. Now I ain't got no problem with this. If that's what they're actually doing, if that's where it's actually going, I have no problem with this whatsoever. Cause the elderly needs help. All of them. I don't care what from every shade under the sun, they need help and they didn't put their time in, you know, they, they didn't went through all the bumps and grinds of life to become, to become old enough to need this. 32 nutrition sites, nutrition, education, recreation. You ain't got that. They, they already know. They know more than you do. They know more than all of us do. They learned it through life. Uh, recreation, which is necessary. Transportation, which is necessary. Because Texas is big. <laughs> you, you know, you ain't doing a whole bunch of walking down here.
But yeah, come on, folks vulnerable individuals and families across the community. In January, City Council approved funding for a delegate agency called American Gateways. It received an additional $150,000. Under the agenda, it states that the funding is to go towards homeless and legal services. Some council members did not know that money could be going towards migrants seeking those legal services. We provide information to the city at the front end indicating what we intend to, uh, what services we intend to provide, and then we uh, provide follow-up monthly uh, documentation regarding those services. A statement provided by the city says Sounds since January silly, 2021, maybe. the city's migrant response, including the operations of the MRC, has always been reimbursed by the federal government. The city does not stop the agencies from spending it towards migrants traveling through the city. But in Tuesday's budget session, city manager Eric Walsh said the money is not supposed to be used for migrants. Council, that is not for individuals at the MRC. Uh, individuals that are that may be passing through um, the MRC and through San Antonio are not eligible for those legal services. Do you want From the north side, Marisa Mendoza, News 4, San Antonio. I ain't going to say nothing else. I'm quite sure uh, this thing, this uh, video here, probably ain't going to get a whole bunch of airplay because there's certain things that they look and listen for and they sniff it out. But uh, it is, oh, and uh, there was a, um, a van, a van full of a people. It is a, a Ford van, a E350, uh, full of people. And when a uh, trooper tried to pull it over, uh, they tried to make a dash for the grass. You know what I mean? Because you get out there and then the doors pop open and then, you know, um, uh, people disperse. Yeah, that's it. And uh, but it crashed and it and it rolled over and it ejected uh, said passengers. You know, I mean, uh, excuse me, it, it, if there were people in it they would have been ejected and, you know, fatalities would have ensued. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, but there was no one in the van. Yeah. Actually, it didn't even have a driver. It was going down the highway by itself. Trooper was chasing a ghost, even though he wound it up, wound up with a white Ford van, E350 smashed to pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that one. Y'all be good and be safe. Bye.